to the children of Palestine and for the blood of the babies that you have spilled and are on your hands, you will be put to trial in the court of justice one day. This is this is the hope of God. This is the promise of Allah. This is the plan of God that a day will arrive where you will appear in the court of God in shackles. And according to the word of God, your hands shall testify against you. Your feet shall testify against you. Your eyes shall testify against you. And you will testify yourself in front of the babies that you have killed. And I'd like to end with a few words of poem that I wrote. I pray for a day that I see it's the smile on the face of the Palestinian children. That I get to see in 25 years that the state of Israel is wiped away like the children's tears. The countdown has begun starting from this year that we will see in two decades like the leader says, Palestine will be free. Thank you very much. It is better to die on your feet than to live on your knees. These are the words left to us by man Hussein, the grandson of the prophet who was martyred 1400 years ago. There are a few core values that are instilled upon within Muslims worldwide. One of them, humanity, another, compassion, and love for other people. This is very evident as we have seen because people of all ages, especially very little children, have come. And now I would like to welcome the youngest of us all, Jenny Abbas, to share his thoughts with us. Come on. Free, free, Palestine, free, free, Palestine, free, free, Palestine, free, 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 Palestine, free, 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 Palestine, free, 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 Palestine, free, free, Palestine. Donald Trump is, uh, is going to be 
welcomed to this country by the Irish Prime Minister. And the most important thing I want to say to you today uh, is that I hope you will join what will be thousands and thousands of people who will be gathering here on Thursday of next week at 6 p.m. in the evening to protest against Donald Trump. Uh, there are many, many reasons to protest against Trump. Uh, he wants to destroy our planet. He wants to destroy the environment. He hates people of color. He hates his neighbors, the Mexicans. He hates women. Yeah. He he hates children, he likes people who make money from bombs and bullets and war. He wants to encourage the machine of war across the world. But among, men, among one of his worst crimes is his despicable support for the criminal actions of the Israeli state in persecuting and oppressing and denying the most basic human and civil rights to the people of Palestine. If I go for a reason, we need to gather here to show our solidarity with the people of Palestine when Trump arrives next week and show him that he is more welcome in this country and he is not welcome. He is not welcome in any country. That treasures human rights, that treasures self-determination, that treasures freedom because he is the author of that. He is the murderer of peace, of democracy, of civil rights, of freedom. Black, black, yellow, white, all people must unite. Black, black, yellow, white, all people must unite. Black, black, yellow, white, all people must unite. Yes, the thing that uh, Donald Trump doesn't understand uh, is something that what we saw from the young people who got up here and spoke, who frankly, in their beautiful poems and sentiments in support of the people of Palestine, showed more intelligence, more sympathy, more humanity in their little fingers than Donald Trump has in his whole being, or for that matter, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Because what Trump does not understand, uh, what Jeff Benjamin Netanyahu does not understand, is there is only one race in this world, and that is the human race. One race, the human race. Thank <laughs> you.